So you just said that intelligence demands freedom. What kind of freedom? To begin with, there has to be freedom from something. Hmm? You said what kind of freedom? It depends on where I am standing. If I am standing in deep bondage, then the first step of freedom is freedom from something. Freedom from something. Freedom from compulsorily thinking. Freedom from necessarily following. Freedom from being like the rest of them. Are you getting it? It's like getting rid of your chains. Freedom from. This is Niti Niti. I am already doing a lot. I want freedom from it. This is freedom from my existing ways. I don't exist in a vacuum. I am already occupied with a lot of mind stuff. Freedom from that mind stuff. And that mind stuff is what I call my life. Hmm? That's what I presently call my life. Freedom from that. That is the first step of freedom. Then there is the freedom of something. This is the second step. The first step was freedom from something. The second step was freedom of something. Now here, the influence of others has waned down. There is something that is shining in front of me, which is my own, or at least appears to be my own. And I say that now this is worthy. I want to be there. If I can spend my life pursuing this, it would be wonderful. So this is freedom of doing something. The first was a negative freedom, freedom from bondage. The second is a more positive freedom, freedom of going here, of being that. And then one realizes that even this that I call as freedom of being something has a little bit of external influence and one leaves that also. So in the first step, your goals were coming from society and you said freedom from society. In the second step, your goals appear to be coming from within you and you said freedom of pursuing my goals, freedom to live as per my own wish. Hmm? But what is common between step one and step two? Goals are there. In the first step, the goals were given by? In the second step, the goals were given by? Apparently by the self. Finally, there is just freedom in which there are no goals. Getting it? Right now, as we live, not only do we have a code of living, a manual of life, certain targets that have been handed over to us, not only do we have them, the worst part is that they are not ours. They have been given to us that you must live life this way. This is what is called a good life. So the first step would be to say no. I want freedom from this kind of life. 
all right so goals given by others have been dropped then the next step i don't have anything given by others now i have my own goals and it's a beautiful state to be in believe me or know for yourself and then finally you come to a point where you say having even my own goals is no fun i live free like a bird in the open sky no highways there no where to reach no goals to follow as such that is absolute freedom but talking of steps 2 and 3 may not be very meaningful right now let right now let's talk of just step 1 freedom from because our lives are already cluttered our mind is already full of stuff freedom from that clutter freedom from that stuff getting it yeah see when one is in bondage one does not straight away talk of soaring high in the sky one first talks of yes getting rid of the chains that is the first step so let's talk of that because that's actionable freedom from chains start from there right